Faro looks happy about his training partner. Learning is best done together. You mentioned you've been teaching yourself how to read? Yes. Gaia was kind enough to put together a list of glyphs used by the old ones. She helped me decipher some of the data you've collected and showed me how to use the focus to help the process. It's not easy, but it's been working so far. That's good to hear. You've spoken with Katalo? A few words. Tanakh don't have much use for us outsiders. You must have made quite the impression for him to offer his fealty. I've been meaning to ask, what's the deal with you and the chorus? You didn't seem to be on the best of terms. That's what happens when you're the one Utaro who insists on publicly defying them. Twice. When the Karja invaded the Utaru plains, they did more than just attack our villages. They burned our fields, took our people as slaves, and murdered those who were too weak to make the trip back to Meridian. To be sacrificed in the Sun Ring. I was helping the healers back then, as waves of refugees swarmed into Plainsong. The chorus was divided in how to face the invaders. Some saw sense in raising arms, Others believe the dishes would keep us safe, as they had many times before. And while they bickered, I buried the seeds of the fallen. I couldn't have been easy, seeing your people suffer while the Karja invaded your lands. I come from a small village near Plainsong. My grandmother used to say there was no seed that wouldn't grow there. I moved to the dishes when I decided to apprentice as a healer. When the Red Raids began, I thought about going back. But the injured kept pouring into plain song, day after day. So I kept putting it off. One day, I woke up to hear a Karja raiding party had ransacked my village during the night. I rushed there with the healers to help the survivors, but... There weren't any left. The smell of burning flesh haunts me to this day. I'm sorry, Zo. I made it a point to appear before the chorus as soon as we returned, to demand that we take a stand against the invaders. I was denied. So I left to fight on my own. So... How does a tribe like the Utaru manage to maintain the peace with warriors like the Tanakh? By holding them off. When our fields bloomed aplenty, the Tanakh looked upon our lands with envy. But Plainsong's dishes provided sanctuary and high ground to keep invaders at bay. In the end, even the Tanakh saw sense in a truce. The Utaru promised to provide the Tanakh with food from our crops every year. In exchange, the Tanakh would relinquish one of their own, a veteran, to train the Utaru in combat. This custom was abandoned a few years after the derangement. But some veterans still remain in the plains. I believe I've met them already. You said you set out to fight the Karja alone? I did. But it turned out I wasn't the only one. News of my disagreement with the chorus spread through the plains. Before I knew it, I had more than a dozen Utaru warriors ready to follow me into battle. We knew we couldn't take on the Karja armies head on, but we also knew the lay of the land better than they did. We ambushed smaller raiding parties, sabotaged their supply lines, and hit their encampments at night. Sounds like you were a force to be reckoned with. Enough that the Tanakh took notice. When the clans began to push the Karja back east, they let us join their ranks. We chased the enemy all the way to Baron Light. You said you were at Baron Light when the Tanakhs defeated the Karja? Tanakh marshals climbed the Cliffs of the Daunt under cover of night, then attacked from the other side. 
Before we knew it, the gates were open, and the full force of the clans burst through. What happened next was... Not something I like to remember. When all the dust and blood settled... I smelled it again. The stench of burnt flesh. Our enemies defeated. What was left of my squad returned to the Utaru Plains. I went back to Plainsong. But even as the harvest passed, it didn't feel like I'd truly returned at all. Is that when you became a grave singer? I thought soothing the suffering of others would somehow appease my own. Then you came along and gave me a choice. I could either sing at people's graves or fight for a chance to keep them alive. I'm glad you chose the latter. Right, I should probably go. Is it true you're investigating a signal coming from one of Gaia's seedlings? Maybe. We'll know for sure when we check it out. Be careful. We will. It'll be nice to stretch my legs after being cooped up in here. <sighs> there she is. You ready to head out? Let's go. Look at us. Three battle-hardened badasses forging into the unknown. This ought to be good. Uh, this distress call had to be up a really steep mountain, huh? Vermin. 
What the hell? Well, that takes the keg. Burl, see if there's anything over there? On it. We'll check out the battlefield. Let's start with that zenith. Well, there are obviously more zeniths than we know about. Can't believe you fought one of them. Almost didn't make it. I can get it for my stash later. Whatever the rebels did, it took down her shield. But why was she here? I can access her last communication file, but I'll use my focus to scan the battlefield too. What about that crazy weapon, the Zenith? High school out here. It looked like she can make it come and go at will, but it's what? gone now. Hello, Verbena. Uh, what do you have for me? I'll wait I checked here. everywhere. Still no sign of the asset. Can we call off this pointless search already? Let's not forget who let it slip away in the first place. Now, I'd like to see results by nightfall. Do you think you can manage that? Hold on. I think I see something. The Spectre had instructions to assist recovery of the asset. Not rebels, an Asaram, a I wonder Zenith, what this asset is. Machine. I need a drink.
Have a look around. I'll wait here. Osiram with a focus. Looks like he was sending data on the weapons somewhere else. Ah! Ah. Our weapon's still hot. I need to know how it worked. But I'll have to check on it once it's cooled off. Looks like the rebels camped here for a while. Are they watching this area? All right. I think I have an idea what happened here. I better get back to Erend. Right, she who sees the unseen. What did you find out? This was a carefully planned attack. I found camping gear up there. The rebels must have been staking out this place for at least a few days. They were waiting for the Zeniths to show up, all so that they could test that weapon. The Zeniths have a personal shield that makes them invulnerable, but somehow the weapon got rid of it. The Osirum that was operating, it was sending data on it somewhere else. It was probably just a prototype. I've known tinkers that do that. I'd do a little trial run before breaking out the real thing. Well, I guess it's still a work in progress, if it blew up. She was searching for something she'd lost. Her drone had instructions to recover something called the Asset. The asset? Is that the, uh, sub-function thing that you said could be here? The Luthia? I'm not sure. Come on, let's go talk to Varl. <laughs> 